Hi, this is Steve with Jetters Northwest. In this video, we're going to talk about jetting hose sizes and really what their purpose is and what jetter they apply to. Uh, so for this one, we're not talking about big truck mount like Vactor trucks that would have three quarter inch or one inch jetting hose. Um, this is really, we're going to start at five eighths inch hose and go down from there in size. So this is common for like trailer mounted jetters, service jetters that might be four wheel portables or van or truck mounted jetters. So let's start with that 5 8 hose. Um, now bear in mind with jetting hose is that is measured from its inside diameter, not the outside diameter. When you're buying a replacement hose, make sure you're looking in the hole to decide what size of hose it is. If you're not sure, your vendor should be able to help you out with a measurement and figure out exactly what true size it really is. 5 8 inch hose is generally used on jetters that do 20 to 25 gallons per minute. Um, that's pretty high flow for a service jetter. Um, 5 8 hose is very uncommon. Since it's very stiff, it's made to carry higher flow. So much more common is the half inch and smaller hoses that you see on many, many jetters. So let's talk about half inch hose. This is used on almost all of the very common 4018 class of jetters, 4,000 PSI, 18 gallons per minute. But it's also used in jetters as low as 10 gallons a minute and all points in between. The sweet spot for this hose is in the 15, 16, or 18 gallon per minute flow rate. And of course, any of these hoses are generally all rated for three to 4,000 PSI operating pressure. Even some even higher at five to 6,000. Stepping down from half inch hose would be the 3 8 hose. Now, 3 8 is really nice for four inch pipe can do six inch and whatnot, but sometimes you'll stick your half inch hose in a four inch and you get a little hung up on the elbows and whatnot. And certainly in a three inch, just a lot of times just doesn't work. Three eighths hose has a little more flexibility, still carries a fair amount of flow. The sweet spot for three eighths hose is around eight or nine gallons per minute of flow. Um, but you can push as much as maybe 12 gallons a minute through one of these and um, go down as low as maybe say five gallons per minute. You'll see this on a number of the portable four-wheel cart jetters. But uh, again, the sweet spot is really around eight, nine gallons per minute. Uh, it has enough power to run some pretty serious jetting tools, such as this Warthog head right here. Um, you can turn corners generally in three inch. Again, the sweet pop spot for this hose is really four inch, I'd say. Um, but you can certainly do some six inch as well. Uh, the next step down from three eighths inch, and they all step down in eighth inch increments, is the very, very popular quarter inch hose. Um, the flow sweet spot for quarter inch hose is in around, say, four to five gallons per minute. It's generally used in a range from two gallons a minute on even some electric jetters up to six, seven, or even eight gallons per minute, depending on the head that's put on the hose and the jet, of course, you have to feed it. And it's quite an array of quarter inch nozzles to be found in the market to do a lot of different things from cutting grease to descaling to uh, getting around traps, different things. So the quarter inch is a very popular size. Its real sweet spot is really working on the two inch, three inch, and some four inch lines, and still being able to get some good cleaning done. In the next segment, we're gonna step down to little eighth inch and three sixteenths, what I call trap jetting hoses. Again, this is Steve Jones with Jetters Northwest. Thanks so much for watching today. Check out more of our videos on our YouTube site. Just search Jetters Northwest, and check out our website, jettersnorthwest.com. Thanks again and happy jetting.